Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. You want the latest news in the streets? Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the Lovely TV Show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the Lovely TV Show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey, you guys, so I want to come on here and talk about the whole Kyle Melissa Roth situation. I know a lot of people have been asking me about that. So if you guys don't know, um, I know I've used a few of her videos before in past videos. She was the chick on TikTok and she did like a bunch of like blind item, you know, celebrity gossip news. So she would get like a lot of these blind items. To be honest, she took it from Eight Crazy Days and Nights. Basically, she would take stuff from Eight Crazy Days and Nights and then she would talk about it on TikTok. And so she was able to garner a following. And so she had been in a bunch of drama recently um, for exposing Diddy and exposing J-Lo. And if you guys know, a lot of people are really mad about J-Lo's documentary and people have been clowning her. And she's been basically dubbed as one of the worst celebrities ever. I was 16 in the Bronx, running up and down the road. Okay. <clears throat> I truly have left this woman alone for years. I have just been annoyed in silence since high school. And guess what? I'm a Puerto Rican woman from the Bronx who went to the same high school as you, and you're lying. I saw your high school photo. You did not have hair like that. And we also both attended an all-girls Catholic high school in an Irish and Italian neighborhood. So you weren't running up and down the block. You know damn well you were sitting next to Megan Farley and Christine Marchetti in class. Why are you lying? Please stop using us to look human. We are sick of you. You don't do shit for us. Keep our names out of your mouth. We're not running up and down the block. Not all of us do that for kicks. You're Shasha stupid. Ramos and I'm the voice of Jenny from the block. Um, so like I said, I was not in the room when the negotiations were happening. And um, I have thought to myself over the years, like, I wonder if Jennifer knows I got paid so little for all of the work I did on her album. And I really hope that she doesn't. I really hope that she didn't. But also, I'm pretty sure she was in the room. So, there's that. Don't be fooled by the rocks that I got. I'm still, I'm still Jenny from the block. Used to have a little, now I have a lot. No matter where I go, I know where I came from. Liberty Don't was rude to you. Jennifer Lowe. Same, and I'm gonna try to tell them really quickly two stories about Jennifer Lopez being an awful human being. So number one, when she has drivers, the number one rule she has for them is they can't look at her, they can't talk to her, and her luggage is never allowed to touch the ground. If any of those things happen, she will go out of her way to make sure you get fired. Even if you have to look in the rear view mirror while you're driving, she will call that you trying to look at her and proceed to berate you. And I know this because my dad worked for that driving company and he refused to drive her whenever she came in town because of how awful she treated the drivers. Second story, she was with Ben, I believe at MGM or whichever casino. And Ben's a great tipper and he respects service workers. And so he tipped a lot of people a lot of money that night. Jennifer goes around to each of those people and takes back the tip and gives them maybe five, 10 bucks, maybe. She is an awful person. So a lot of people do not like J-Lo and people have been clowning her and going in on her. And so Kyle was basically calling out J-Lo um, for her documentary, how unrealistic it was. J-Lo ended up flagging everybody who used her content who weren't saying something flattering about her. So they started calling her <laughs> J-Lulu. Um, so it was just a mess on TikTok, the whole back and forth with her and J-Lo's army bot. Um, so she was talking about this and then she said something that was really interesting. Um, when her account was removed from TikTok because it was flagged by J-Lo's team, she lost her money. And so I guess she had cancer. She was dealing with colon cancer. And so she was saying that she's not able to get her cancer treatment. It's J-Lo's fault if she dies. You want more, I'll give you more. So you know how in recovery, they say the first step uh, to recovery is admitting you have a problem. I have a problem. And that is that uh, J-Lo copyright claimed all of us, myself included, got my account banned. I think that was it because she didn't like the fact that we were using clips from her 
her narcissistic venture, her, her cosplay of an Eras tour film, I don't know what the fuck that is, um, to uh, point out all of the lies and narcissistic attributes um, that you know she has. So a lot of your favorite creators might be gone because of that. So um, it, since I now am in recovery, since I've admitted that's the problem, I need to heal and I'm gonna heal by uh, using blind items to expose what a narcissistic POS JLo is. How about this? So this is gonna be an abbreviated deep dive, just enough blind items so we get a real idea of what JLo was like. Uh, you guys, I'm in this article. Forbes did an article on J. Lulu messing with TikTok creators. Uh, if you go click the, the video that I stitched, that's on my backup account. Uh, the link in my bio is my link tree, and the link to the article is the first thing uh, on my link tree when you open it up there. Go give it a read and make sure you share it with everyone and anyone on the internet all over the place. Let them know. Tell Cersei I want her to know it was me. But anyway, in my backup account, it's also linked right here, right in the link in the bio. First article, uh, first line in the link tree, sorry, I'm super sick, is the JLo article. Give it a read. J. Lulu's team has officially hired bots to uh, dispel her being a menace to waiters, all of that. Well, I work at a, the restaurant where I had dinner today. She was very regal. I had the honor of presenting her salad. This is some name. Another name. Well, I work at the restaurant where I had dinner today. She was very regal. I had the honor of preparing her salad. <laughs> girl, girl, what? Girl, what? Now, the crazy thing is she said this back around, I believe, April 18th. And then literally a week later, her family came onto social media to let the world know that she passed. So this is what her family had to say. They said, my sister Kyle Marissa passed away last week as a family were still processing and deciding how to properly celebrate and honor her life. We don't know what happened yet. I know she touched so many people with her humor, intelligence, beauty, gossip, activism, athleticism and more she had so many gifts if anyone wants to connect about kyle i'm here to talk and share memories i will also keep you in the loop with any memorials as they are planned i am so sorry to all those learning about this loss right now any prayers thoughts blessings or intentions for this soul's smooth transition are welcomed so that is what her sister said. And so since then, there's been a lot of conspiracies about, you know, did JLo have something to do with this? And people are going to JLo's comment section and they are lighting her ass up. They are going in on JLo. Here go just some of the comments right here. As you guys see in her comments, they're saying Kyle Melissa Roth, Kyle Marissa, rest in peace, Kyle, rest in peace, Kyle, canceled, um, Kyle Melissa Roth. So they're like literally going in on JLo. Um, somebody else says RIP Kyle Melissa. Uh, no one likes you, LOL, RIP Kyle. We didn't forget about Kyle. So they are definitely having a field day in JLo's comments. So a lot of people are saying, you know, was her death natural? Was something caused behind the scenes? You know, it's causing a lot of controversy and conspiracies for sure online. Guys, we got a blind item about Kyle. At least, I think it's about Kyle. Let me know if you think differently. So this was posted on April 20th on Crazy Days and Nights. Apparently, in the two weeks prior to her death, this social media A-lister, she's A-list, had told a couple of people in her personal life and a couple of followers that she felt like she was being followed or stalked. Then she got a spam email from someone trying to extort her. She knew it was spam, but it added to the fear. So what do you guys think? I was wondering if there would be a blind item about Kyle. An NT lawyer posted one. How does he know this information? Guys, we got a blind I got a blind item about Kyle Roth, but it's more than just a blind item. This is actually a warning for social media influencers. I'm just going to go ahead and read what I have here. A uh, warning to social media influencers, activists, and truth tellers. I never ever post blind items, but this one is important for protecting social media influencers, especially those who have a tendency to expose the criminal activities of the rich and famous. Here it goes. 
There are tons of reports from psychics and medium workers, celebrities, and social media influencers, particularly involving an A-list celebrity gossip influencer who lost her life recently. People in the entertainment industry will get rid of people they perceive to be a threat through something that those in their industry officially refer to as a spiritual assassination. What is a spiritual assassination? A spiritual assassination is just like putting a hit out on someone, except rather than hiring a hitman to directly commit homicide and or fake a suicide, sorry, unaliving, they will systematically go after a person's finances, career, love life, friendships, reputations, and other aspects of the target's physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual well-being. Even spiritually attacking the target via an etheric space those in the industry refer to as the room. The goal is to orchestrate the perfect crime by intentionally causing so much damage to the target's entire life and well-being that it results in a suicide or terminal health failure. If you suspect that this is happening to you, take the necessary steps to focus on your holistic well-being, hire a private investigator, go to therapy, and continue reaching out to others for support. And understand that you're not crazy. This is a real thing. Victims have even reported feeling stalked or followed. And it doesn't hurt to get a spiritual mentor or psychic to also look at where the spiritual attacks are coming from. And here is the post. And the last part. All right. So you guys just listened to that last blind item, which was definitely creepy. But I think it definitely has some truth to it. Um, and I've been there. If you guys remember back in 2018, I was under spiritual attack and I talked about it. Um, and I was clowned. I was clowned really bad for it and made fun of. So I'm happy to see that this is being talked about more openly in 2024. Because back when I came and talked about how I was being spiritually attacked, not just in the physical world, but in the spiritual world. I mean, I was just deemed a lunatic and clowned. But, um, you know, and though that was a really hard year for me. Um, I still deal with that a lot. But you know, by the grace of God, I was able to overcome it and the truth came out and, you know, all, all the, the weirdos were exposed. So things worked out. But when you're under spiritual attack, you have to get around prayer warriors. You have to get around people who truly love and want to see you protected and safe. Um, I have no doubt that she could have been under spiritual attack because of all the things that she was exposing. And let's not forget, Jennifer Lopez is not a nice person. Now, do I think Jenny from the Glock, you know what I'm saying, went and like physically killed her with a, you know, with a pow pow? No, of course not. But there are things that people can do to you spiritually to drain you, to have your mind gone, to make you feel like you're going crazy. And you have to understand this industry, there's a very dark side to this industry. And you have people, like I said in my Diddy Deep Dive, who work on shadow power. And shadow power is very real. I'm not about to get into all that on YouTube, but... You know, you have a lot of people who do things to get themselves into certain positions and they don't want to lose that position ever in life. So maybe because J-Lo kept seeing how hard she was coming at her and literally everybody's coming at J-Lo really hard on TikTok. You know, and she and she's also, let's not forget, Puerto Rican from the Caribbean, you know, people in the Caribbean, just like in Africa, you know, dabble in black magic and hoodoo and voodoo and, you know, burharia and all types of, you know, spiritual systems. And I'm not saying that these spiritual systems are good or bad because like in anything, anything can be good or bad. Even Christianity, you can be a Christian and you can use your influence for good or you can use it to demean and belittle, just like in Islam. There's always, you know, normal and extremes in every religion or practice, right? So um, that last blind item definitely said a lot. But yeah, spiritual attacks are very real, especially when you're dealing with the internet realm. You know what I'm saying? Um, people think that the internet is just the internet, but you don't understand that you're exchanging energy. You know, even when I look into the camera, you guys are getting a bit of my essence. You know what I'm saying? And the comments, like I've told you guys this in the past, I read comments in people's voices. Even if I've never met you before, when I get emails, when I see comments, I read them in the person's voice. So a lot of times when I end up meeting people, the voice that I read them in, like in my email, is the voice that they're talking to me in. It's very strange, but I'm, I don't know. It, I, I'm just 
spiritually in tune like that, but I can literally hear people's voices via emails and comments and stuff like that. Um, that's why, you know, I always say like, just really stay prayed up with this and for everybody on the internet, you know, regardless of what you do via commentary, celebrity news, gossip, you know, breaking down diss tracks, you know, from DJ academics to Kyle to just everyone, you know, you have to understand that there are people who don't want you to succeed and that's in every facet of life not just social media but it could be at your job you know you'll have energy vampires who want to bring you down who feel like you don't deserve that position maybe because you're a woman or because you're a person of color so you just have to stay prayed up and let's not forget that a lot of these celebrities have sold their souls when they first come into the industry you know we can look back at you know ariana and demi lovato and so many people were a certain way when they first came into the industry then you fast forward you know five ten years later and they just gotten so dark this is not conspiracy this is spiritual warfare this was taylor swift before and this is taylor swift after with a demonic agenda from her recent music video and doing straight up rituals at her performances you got sam smith before and now you got sam smith after you got vanessa hudgens before and you got vanessa hudgens after talking to ghost you got demi lovato before and you got demi lovato after look at that cross straight mockery you got billy eilish before and you got billy eilish after you got beyonce doing things like this on who controls the media controls the mind at one of her concerts and you got people like the weekend just flashing satan right before people's eyes at another live concert the war is not between flesh and blood it is between dark principalities powers the devil isn't even hiding anymore y'all the world still can't see him I plead the blood of jesus over god's children during these end times in jesus mighty name you know the music the energy is so dark so um i, I definitely I, I definitely can relate to that blind item you know, it's a very scary space, but like I said, you have to have prayer warriors around you and you have to believe that you're here to serve a purpose bigger than yourself. Nobody, I don't think in this day and age, people go out their way to be truth tellers. I think truth tellers are chosen. It's almost like your destiny and you just know what comes with that, you know? But am I saying that her cancer, you know, didn't play a part in it? Of course, you know, at the end of the day, um, she was a sick woman. A lot of people are dealing with illnesses and stuff like that but sometimes it can be very much exacerbated because of the things that people are involved in you know from social media to like you know working in a very stress heavy job can also exacerbate things with your illness and with your health as well so i would just say for everybody to stay prayed up i don't care what it is um that you do in life but just even the things that you consume you know the music the movies you know if you're going to watch things that are more darker definitely pray before watching and pray after you know there's certain truth teller videos that get so dark at times that i have to pray after watching it you know even with my deep dives um you know there's times i've gone down super dark rabbit holes where things have attacked me spiritually you know i know the astral world deep dive it was so much i've talked about this on discord it was so much that came behind me you know, listening to that stuff over and over and, and editing and the frequencies. And one of the things that I've learned recently, because a lot of times when I do my deep dives, the edits end up messing with me where I can't sleep for days at a time. And so what I've learned um, from other editors, people who really edit, because I'm like, well, how do people who edit horror movies, how, how do they decompress? Because you can't tell me you're not taking that to bed with you at night you know and it does take a toll on you um so a lot of times people may edit in the horror genre for a while and then they'll move on to something else you know they'll, they'll go work in something lighter and so that's why there has to be a balance you can't just dwell in darkness even if you're trying to expose the truth and expose the light it can take a toll on you so you have to take breaks you have to take time to decompress and that goes for everyone so i'm really sorry to hear about her death um but yeah i could definitely see it being a spiritual battle because she was hitting on a lot of stuff i mean if you go back and watch some of her TikToks, she was exposing a lot of stuff um and I could see that 
where people would not want that type of information exposed. So let me know your thoughts on everything. How do you guys feel about this? Were you guys fans or did you watch um, Kyle's videos? Do you feel like, you know, she just simply died from cancer and that's it? Or do you feel like maybe the situation goes a little bit deeper? Maybe she was under some type of spiritual attack and she didn't know it and she didn't know how to deal with it. So I look very much forward to reading some of y'all's comments and seeing what you guys think about this entire situation. Please don't forget to like the video, feel free to share the video, and most importantly, make sure you still subscribe to the channel, and I'll talk to y'all later. Deuces. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity, so sell your friends and your family. It's the Lovely TV Show, bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the Lovely TV Show, be sure to share, like, and subscribe.